researching the latest grow tips and filming heavily edited as well as interactive live streams our two-person cannabeard team um, strives hard to roll up the highest of quality cannabis growing entertainment three times a week so if you really like what we do here please consider liking and supporting our patreon Patreon allows fans of the show to contribute a small or large monthly sum to help support the channel while grow, as well as Patreons get a little bit of perks, like you get first crack at naming all of my plants, private Q&A sessions, and beyond as we grow. To learn more about our Patreon, click the link below in the description. And if you can't contribute or just plain don't want to, you can just simply give this video a thumbs up. That is a great little bit of support that, well, it's free. In the end, I'm just glad you enjoyed the show. Thank you, and I'll see you soon. Cheers. Hi. Other action figures each sold separately. From the court. Her. Oh, yeah. Jenny, get the door. It must be Cousin Willie. Okay. Hi. One up. That seems. The following video is rated R and is intended for an adult audience. So if you're under 18, take a fucking hike, eh? As this video may contain adult themes and situations strong language and opinions, good and bad advice, cannabis cultivation and consumption. So as long as you're a responsible adult, kick back, spark one up, and enjoy the show. August blooms and queen works only occasionally. Hi. <laughs> you know what's funny? I uh, was looking for my shades everywhere. And they were on top of my head like this. And I was looking all over and I'm like, I can't find my shades. <laughs> I finally found a pair. And I put them on and then I felt something weird on my ears. And I was like, oh, they were on my head. See, I always wear double shades. And then when I need to take them off dramatically, <laughs> it's like nothing happened. God, it's, it's, it's like I'm baked already. <laughs> hey, Andreas, how you doing this morning, my man? Whoopsh, whoopsh. Fist bumps, brother. Hello from Alberta. 
Puff Puff Pass. Let's see who was first in chat today. Let's see. Let's take a look at that first. Clint Worm, my man. Clint Worm followed by the Vivid, and then Andreas Johnson, uh, Drayson, Colin, Skater Dad, GB Packers. Hey Packers, how you doing, buddy? Uh, we got some homegrown by Grotz, Chelly, and Brian and Lewis, and <clears throat> and some more people. How you doing today? I know it's like a random, uh, random ass uh, um, stream just out of the blue. Oof. Thursday morning stream. Who knew? I didn't know. But I woke up. I had to deal with some rain issues that we've been dealing with the past two days. And um, I got a coffee. I was up early. I'm like, I'm going to have some dabs. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to come online and do some coffee and dabs and say hello. Hello. <laughs> mm. ah, ooh, man, the coffee is sweet today. I kind of wish it had... I should have asked for a shot of espresso to make it a little more tooth rattly, but um, but it is good. Holy crap! Andreas dropping the bombs. <laughs> Serious, man. Like this. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Ho! Um, I don't want the rain. I would love to send it away. Um, it is cold. And it's going to rain for the next, like, three days. And my outdoor crop is not fucking ready yet. It is really close. Mighty close. So close that I'm going to have to do a stream or an episode or something next week to show you what's going on, man. Because holy crap. I stopped working to watch <laughs> a pre-lunch break. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, yeah, I feel like I'm baked. I haven't even had a puff yet, not one. And I feel like I'm like, I'm just, maybe I don't have the coffee in me. It's early. I don't know. Still waking up. It's probably the <laughs> cobwebs. Mmm. Let's get some coffee in me. And then it's time for a dab. And I've actually got three selections of dabs today. I've got sweet and sour rosin uh, a seed sent to me by my man Clint from in, in chat there. I've got Congo resin, not resin. Uh, uh, like it's kind of like a, a, a it's kind of like B A it's it is B H O but it's a weird consistency. It's not quite shatter. And then I've got uh, I've got this bad boy here, which is a big block of uh, it's dark, but it's um uh uh. uh last year's outdoor harvest of northern lights that's why it's a bit dark it's old and it's old over dried blah 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 looks like a chocolate bar but let's have a maybe i'll have a dab off this to start my day um if you get the kitty you'll get more views beard we got a kitty. We got a kitty. Canna. Canna, 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 banana. Oh, here you are. Whoosh. Here he is. Kitty. You asked for kitty, I call kitty. <laughs> I know he wants to, he should be playing on the ground. I, I do have the air filter. I have a big air filter right there. Just so you know, so when he's in the room, I don't like smoking around him too much, but in the room with the air, uh, uh, air filter thing, um, I don't feel so bad. And again, I won't, I won't smoke it right near him. I actually only kicked him out of the office because he was playing with something and he wouldn't stop. And it was just like rattle, 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 rattle. Come here, you little poop. 
<laughs> no, he's way too hyper. <laughs> I tried to pick him up, and he was just like... <laughs> uh, it, it made sense. I knew a dog once named Canna. Um, good name. I thought it was a good name. It rolled off the tongue well. It's, she was a nice doggy. Um, and uh, we got Canna Beard, Canna Bunny, Canna Kitty. It just kind of made sense. And it, I, I'm trying to remember what his name was when we got him. I think it was Felix. I think his adoption papers were Felix, which wasn't bad. I didn't hate Felix as a name, but it did, I didn't pick it. It didn't feel like, I don't know. He was too young to have bonded to that name yet, so we went with Canna. The Canna family, indeed. <laughs> it just made sense. It just rolled off the tongue. When so somebody said that in chat, and I, I'd actually thought about it for a second, and then somebody said it in chat, and when I seen somebody say, call him Canna Kitty, I was just like, yep. Yeah. That was the thing. That was it, man. <sighs> Light them if you got them. We're going to start today with a little bit of the northern lights. Some Kootenai grown outdoor northern lights. Here we go. <clears throat> Wash your indoor harvest. I bet you'll find a lot of kitty hairs. Well, we only just got the kitty, and we harvested last time before the kitty. So this last indoor harvest, we're good. The next one has potential. Um, however, <coughs> however, um, I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem for two reasons. Number one, we're going to get some of that I'm thinking about it anyway. I don't. I don't like using chemicals and stuff like that. But I'd thought about some of that uh, uh, anti-cat spray and spraying it on the door frame of my grow room just to keep him out of there. I don't know if I like that. I don't like. I don't like if I like the idea of like chemically keeping him out of there. I think I could, I could just close the fucking door. You know, it's not a big deal. So I'm probably. I, I, I had toyed with the idea, but I honestly doubt that I'm going to use any chemical deterrent. Um, also, number two, reason number two, he's a short-haired cat. He's got, like, little tiny hairs. And he doesn't shed that much. Like, I just picked him up. I'm wearing a black shirt. I don't even see any. He is not a long hair. He's not a shedder. So, fingers crossed. I don't know. So we got some Congo and sweet and sour. Uh, I wanted to just try something a little bit different last night. I hadn't uh, uh, tried something. Uh, I just found out I have a hole in my boot today. I read that wrong. I read that you had a hole in your root. And then I was thinking, what the hell's a wet toe? I thought it was like a bug or something. And then I'm like, oh, wait a minute. I got to read that again. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's raining here, too. It's been raining pretty hard here. Um, I literally did a, a, a joke on Instagram yesterday, uh, and it was no joke, about using my leaf blower to, to blow the cannabis uh, to make sure that water doesn't sit on it for too long after, after rains and stuff. Um, I did that this morning. I went out there this morning. The rain stopped at about... Eh, probably about 6 o'clock in the morning at about 8 or something. I ran out there and shook all the plants pretty good and then uh, took the, the leaf blower to them and, and just kind of, yeah, just blew them around a little bit and, you know, got them about as dry as I can get them without being too aggressive. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. Fingers crossed. Um, I, I feel like I've cheated. I'm going to be honest with you guys, because I like being honest, but I do feel like I've cheated. I bought some of that safer uh, mildew spray, uh, powdery mildew spray by Safer. 
Uh, I sprayed the plants with it the other day. I knew this rain was coming and I have spotted a little bit of powdery mildew in a few spots on, a, on, on one plant closest to my garden. And then I found another spot on another fucking plant. Not a lot, just enough to spot them. And it freaked me right out because I don't want to, I don't want it to spread, right? So first thing I did was cut off the infected areas and throw them in the compost, which is a drag because a couple of them were nice arms and it just, whatever, got to go, got to go. You can't, you can't infect the rest. But if you can see some, there is tons that you're not seeing that's growing right now. So I sprayed it with that safer mildew spray stuff. Just a, 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 a bottle throughout all of my four and like my pumpkin patch and stuff and, and the surrounding garden area just to sort of help cut down anything that could be blowing right onto it. Um, fingers crossed, man. Fingers crossed. <coughs> yeah, Mephesto Jeanette, it's weird. I am very grateful. I've got a wonderful community who has sent me some Mephesto genetics, and I happen to keep a really, really, really sharp eye on their Reddit forum so that when they had a drop, uh, a, a little fall, early, or sorry, late summer drop, I was on it and I grabbed a couple of packs of seeds. Um, but it's true, man. I, I was given some and blown away at the quality, and then I started to want some, and I tried to reach out and grab some, and fucking like diamonds man that shit's hard to get your hands on it's like toilet paper at the beginning of covid everybody buys it up like crazy and uh you can't find it everybody's sold out for real <clears throat> mefesto has bad communication yes they do yes they do they don't need to have good communication they just don't give a f i believe is what's going on i believe um you know uh uh, uh they're just so focused on what they're doing that they could spend a lot of time, energy, and whatnot trying to focus on uh, uh, public relations. And uh, I'll tell you right now, a lot of that public relations is not going to be uh, very happy no matter what way you put it. Um, Holy crap. Um, anyway, anyway. Um, I mean, I'm not giving them a hall pass for not talking with people and stuff. Lots of people check out, um, uh, 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 are, are good with their, or a lot of companies are good with their, um, with their customers and stuff. And they're notoriously, they're not bad with their customers. They're just notoriously silent. They just don't communicate for shit. They don't post much. They only post when they're about to do a big drop. And, uh, and then they don't answer questions and I've emailed them multiple times and never gotten responses. I don't know. I don't have to, I don't have to love their business practices. I just have to love their fucking strains and, uh, know that they're not total pieces of shit. <laughs> so then that's all I can do. I agree. That's actually one thing that really bums me out is that they shut down their website completely. You cannot even go to their website to look up strain information. Although, that being said, every single word on their website is on other sites. You can find all of the information that is on uh, uh, Mephesto Genetics on sites like seedfinder.com eu or whatever the fucking just type in seed finder you'll find it <clears throat> um sites like that uh do a really good job of maintaining as much uh, uh, uh collected information on strains as humanly possible um they're one of my favorites it's pretty much my go-to like fuck leafly like seriously fuck leafly <laughs> um there's a lot of companies that are just bullshit out there that are trying to do this um but as far as information goes my go-to is seed finder <sighs> all right <clears throat> so no wait a minute did i give myself two dabs i did i gotta take one back 
Nope. Wait a minute. Not that many. Just one. Whoosh. I only needed one. I only had one dab so far. That's right. Because <clears throat> I'm like, I had a dab off of the Northern Lights, and I haven't dabbed off of either of these two just yet. Ah. Uh, Maxi Grow. Never even heard of it. I don't think. I actually have a, 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 a little surprise sitting upstairs in my uh, boot room. or Some people call it a Florida room. Some people call it a, a sun room. Some people call it a boot room. It's the room that you come in to take your boots and your jacket off. And there's it's long and there's like we have plants and shit in there. And there's a lot of windows and whatever. Anyway, the boot room. In my boot room, I've got a shipment that was given to me that is a sort of sponsorship from a company that doesn't fucking sponsor people <laughs> uh big shout out to lady five fingers for uh pulling a magic trick out of a hat here um she got a company that does not sponsor cannabis people to hook me up <laughs> it's a long weird weird ass story but uh yeah yeah that's true um anyway um, I've got, uh, hold on. Let me, let me look up what they're called here. I, I don't want to, I don't want to say the wrong thing. Cause I, I know, I don't know this company very well and I haven't really looked into it very much, but I am very excited to give it a test drive. Um, Give me one second here. I'll find it. I'll find it. <clears throat> um, let's see if I can find out what I'm trying to look for here. Um... Uh -huh. Hmm. I uh am tripped out here that I don't remember. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. I couldn't find the dang company name. Green Planet. Oh my God! <clears throat> yeah, Green Planet um, uh, uh, nutrients for for like uh, uh, automatic watering systems for the auto pot is uh, uh, what I got coming up. I couldn't I couldn't think of the damn name of the thing, but it was yeah, Green Planet. Um, so anyway, we're gonna we're gonna check those things out. Um, the reason I'm interested in these is because they are designed for water column feeders, like bottom feeders, like the auto pot system. Um, whereas I use a nutrient that I love, but is not really good in water. Uh, 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 at least I don't think it's very good in water, uh, like standing water systems, because the minerals tend to uh, congregate and uh, settle over time. Um, <clears throat> Uh, opinions on crop, crop salt nutrients, never heard of it. And have I ever used a plit, plag, plagron, never heard of it. Uh, how was the Northern Lights? Um, it was okay. Um, it's, it's like my uncle's last year mediocre outdoor. No slag on you, uncle. Much love, much love. But it's pretty mediocre, uber, uber dry not cured properly outdoor. What do you want to do? I don't know. I just said, look, I could probably make that into some decent shatter for you. I said, it's not going to smoke very good. He's like, yeah, it's not very good at smoking. Anyway. I said, well, I can make it into some extracts for you and make it at least like, you know, bang for your buck a little bit more efficient. <laughs> ah, okay. Speaking of dabs, so let's get that fucking number up again. Good morning, lucky monkey. I mean, hi, everyone. Oh. 
Oh man, God, I just I, I, I hope that the out outdoor it has stopped raining. It rained all night. Um it has stopped raining. I don't care if it rains off and on. I can handle some off and on rain for a few days. I just can't handle three days of solid rain. That will cripple my crop. That will fuck it up. That'll be too much, too much moisture for too long. Oh, it's the cat playing with, I'm like, what is that sound? It's definitely the cat fucking with something. <laughs> Dabs up if you got him. Congo, by the way, Congo. Man, he is just trashing upstairs. I don't know what he's playing with. <coughs> <coughs> Typical cat. We bought him some cool cat toys. We bought him a little robot fish. Doesn't care about the robot fish. We bought him a, a, a fishing rod. He actually does like the fishing rod thing. But he likes straws. Like a straw out of a Slurpee cup. He'll play with one of those for fucking six days, man. He loves it. Just popping in to say hi, can't type or chat uh, to sit in the but sit in the background and listen brighten your day much love Colleen um, uh, I hope everyone's doing well should head home from the hospital tonight much love much love uh, I glad to hear that you're getting better and you're going home uh, looks like mr. worm's been taking good care of your uh, your little babies and oh I hear the pitter patter of a bunny is, is bunny dressed bunny is dressed holy smokers hello bunny I still wanted to walk to the store that's fine well, turn, yeah. turn off your music and come on in and have a dab but I'm listening to such a nice song Aw. well okay then, then keep it? keep your music no I no okay. the speaker can't hear it if you want to keep it on I don't care There's no slag off my back it's raging fire by Philip Phillips Raging Fire by Flip Flips. No. No. Philip Phillips. That's what I said. Flip Flips. No. Flip Flips. No. Say hi to everybody. Give them a little wave. Colleen is saying... I read, but... Hi. But you can read it. No. I just... I literally just read that as you were coming down. Yay. Yay. Did you snap or anything? Did you even eat your apple fruit? Last night I did. And I bought another one today while I was out. Oh, okay. From so a different know. a different bakery. No, I'm okay. Oh, I don't oh, like do apple want... fritters except... Okay, here. Uh, this is sweet and sour and this is Congo. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, I made that sweet and sour last night. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure you're after that. Ooh, she's going to double it. Okay, I got to give myself another dab here because I've had a dab. And now Bunny's in for the race. <coughs> <coughs> Cut down your plant. Ooh. Happy harvesting. <coughs> yeah, as long as you're stable enough to go back home, there's no place like home, man. It's hard to be comfortable and heal in a, a freaking hospital environment. That's not home. That's not comfortable, you know? Home is your where your bed is and your friends are and, and, and your weed and stuff. You, you want to be home and relaxed and whatnot, as long as you're stable enough to be home, obviously. But awesome. Good news. Good news. Mm. So uh, I've made a, a, a background decision this week that since we started... The, the can of beer cup on Sunday. This Sunday session will be one week from start date. So that's actually good news. We got a nice little metric to start counting it. So what I think I'm going to do is either Mondays or Tuesdays. Let me finish this. Mondays or Tuesdays, I'm going to start doing the cup dates. That's right. You heard me correctly. Cup dates. <laughs> yes, honey. 
Would you like a lime murky or root beer? Yes, both. One of each or two? Mm, one of each. Okay. I'm going to get two yes. of cherries again. Because you get like two of the same. I like them lime rickies, man. <coughs> you know what's really weird? You know what? You know something very interesting that most people don't know? Did you know that Coca-Cola is a lime pop? You can taste it in some of the base. Think about it. Pair it. Think about the flavor for a second. It's hard, to, <coughs> it's hard to identify. It's very caramelized and darkened and rich yeah. and, and stuff. But it is lime. It is a lime pop. It's weird. So, as a result, like, I love me some Coke, right? And I didn't know this, but... I love lime pop. And somebody told me that once. They're like, did you know that fucking Coke was lime pop? And it was just like a freaking concentrated super lime? I was like, what? And I'm like, what is the flavor of Coke, actually? And I sort of Googled it and fucking... Well, it makes sense. I put lime with, like, rum and Cokes and yeah. lime or something. It goes well with it, right? But I can't have <laughs> rum and Cokes anymore. Nope. It's weird. I just can't. Yeah. Too much. Too much. Ugh. Like, just give I me bet y'all know give me you a have damn. something too much. I want I want some of this uh, 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 stuff right here. Ooh. You're stuck at work. Oh. Uh, Beard, it's too early in my day to get my mind. It's too early in this day to get your mind blown. Sorry, brother. Hmm. <laughs> Apparently, you look younger without your hat. I look younger without my hat, and uh, AA Ron caught himself a, a a a live stream. Right on. Welcome. Quick, pass me my hat. I don't want. I don't want to look too young. There we go. It's backwards. It's also. It's also crooked. Yeah. You think he looks young without his hat? Imagine if he shaved his beard. No. Dude, it's I his. shaved my beard a bunch of years ago, and I look like. I don't want to say what I look like. I look like a special needs teenager. <laughs> I look like a big giant baby. I got like kind of big cheeks. <coughs> I mean, they're not that big. I'm not like I'm not like a pumpkin head or nothing. But <coughs> ooh, oh my goodness! I I've said it many times before, but thank you, Clint Worm. For those sweet and sour seeds, man, you turned me on to something fucking delectable. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to say it. <clears throat> I think my biggest um, surprise strain so far this year that I've been loving is fucking sweet and sour. It, it's blown my mind. Um, it was such a fun grow. It grew really well, really fantastically, gave very good yields, squishes amazing, blasts amazing, smells amazing. Shit, man. If I had more thumbs, I'd be like, boop, boop, boop. <coughs> whoa, I hear whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 coming from so her. So only a lime Ricky and your rupee? Yeah, that's pretty cool, I think. Oh, if they have, you know the what, actually? went so fast. This is going to sound bad, but if they got, uh, if they've got those sh shoppy pepperonis, they're called, they're, the brand is called shoppy with a double E at the end. If they've got shoppy pepperonis, grab me a six pack or something. Please. I, I ran out of them. It's, that's one of my gross guilty <laughs> pleasures is these little shoppy pepperoni sticks. I, I eat like them those. once a week or something in the middle of the night. I'll be like... Nah, 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 nah. <coughs> I, did that I don't eat them jerky. very often, though, because they're pretty gross. I love beef jerky, but it doesn't last long. It's a guilty either. pleasure. I know. It's not very good for me or anything. It's probably one of the worst meats I can probably put in my body. <laughs> but they're yummy. They're from my childhood. I like them. Put the lime in the coconut. <coughs> All right, honeys. Text me if you need anything or uh, or whatever. Okay. What? If you get cut up, if you get caught out in the rain, text me. I'll come pick you up. Oh, okay. I just wanted to go for a walk today to go, you know, go for a walk, get some hair dye. I want to go to the. Uh, she went to the um, uh, 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 
pharmacy the other day and then came back and was like, fuck, and like had forgotten half the things on her list and was like, God dang it. So she's going back for that. <clears throat> okay. Um, boom, like that. Did she only have one dab? Did she really come in and have one dab? I think so. I'm a little surprised. <clears throat> now I understand my shelves are a bit of a mess right now. My whole office and whole house is a bit of a fucking mess right now. Um, whoop whoop. Um, I've got to do, uh, well, I'm in the middle of a major transition of all of my shit and I've been putting, I'll admit this last week has been slow for working on the garage. I've basically did nothing physically to work on the garage other than working in the garage. I did stuff, but not stuff towards, towards setting it up as my studio. Like I need to be doing. Um, it was just a busy fucking week. It's been a busy, not trying to excuse it, but it's just been a fucking weird ass month. The wife was sick as shit, man. It's just been crazy time. Crazy time. Um, where can you get these sour seeds you were talking about? <laughs> uh, holy crap. Uh, the sweet and sour are from Mephesto Genetics. They were, uh, uh, a gift. I've, I've got like, I think two seeds left or something like that. Hey, 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 light. How you doing? Holy crap, light. I have got to say, um... I can't show you right now. Hold on. Let me dance with this here. Where can you get the sour seeds you were talking about? Sweet and sour from Mephesto Genetics, my man. Good luck getting any. But that is where you can get them, if you can find them. Uh, but, light. I have got uh, an update. I wish I could show you. You gotta go check out my drone video. You can see how big that one uh, uh, that one plant has gotten. Um, LV420 is the uh, the Skywalker OG. She is the fattest plant in my backyard. Not the tallest. Probably not even the biggest yielder. I think she's gonna come in second for the yield. But um, it is fucking fat. I wish, I wish I had uh, uh, an ability to properly show you right now. Hold on. I think I can a little bit. Hold on. Let me get to my, my camera. Yeah. Whoa, that's wonky city, but I can show you. Look at this. So that's my backyard. That's my backyard right now. Come on, focus. It doesn't want to focus. It's not focusing. It's this one right here, though. It's about nine feet tall. Eight, eight and a half, nine feet tall. Something like that. She's plumpy, plump, plump. Definitely gonna be, definitely gonna be the number two. Um, my top bitch out there is the Congo, man. That Congo is 11 feet tall and got four tops on it and is just fucking so top heavy. I've had to put braces on her. I put big fucking sticks in and put bungee cords in the middle. <laughs> Not even joking. <laughs> I use Vermost seed banks. Use it. I use Vimo. Vimo. Bitcoin, yeah. I have yet to use Bitcoin to purchase seeds. I tried once and I I couldn't get something going. Um Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know, it's confusing. Bitcoins confuse the hell out of me. <laughs> I have a nice little Bitcoin bank. Thank you, Andreas. 
but I don't know how to spend it very well other than just transferring money to my account to pay bills with. <laughs> Which is like the worst thing. It bums me out. I wish I could have. I wish I could keep every Bitcoin I get. I wanted. To, I wish I was like when I first started getting the Bitcoins. I was like, I'm gonna keep all this and save it, and never spend it. And then I got a fucking nice little slow build, uh, uh, uh bank thing. And uh, in the end, I ended up having to freaking pay bills and shit. <laughs> pay bills and buy the bunnies a big hutch, and you know, life happens. Whatever, man. It's all. Okay. It's okay. Spend it when you got it, man. Fucking life's short, you know? Just try to be happy and freaking eat good and love the freaking ones you're with and, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, I can't find a good seed bank. None of them use PayPal, okay? Here, let me, let me tell you something right now. Most seed banks will do this weird thing where you make the purchase and then they want you to email money transfer them money with no repercussion, like an honesty thing. It's like you're sending money to an address and crossing your fingers. It's fucking terrifying. It truly is. But I'll tell you this. I have never had a seed bank rip me off yet. Not once. Not one. Not one fucking seed bank that I've ever dealt with has fucked me over. Not one. So you can take that with a grain of salt. Um, yeah. Yeah. I have always gotten my seed every single fucking time from everywhere. I've ordered them some weird fucking places. Have those can of bro, can of bro. Yes, yes they have. I've got a uh, dark devil, uh, black auto or something. I'll have to look it up there again. <clears throat> the two black, black, black ones from Sweet Seeds. Thank you for sending me the one that I killed in the past. It's amazing. It's like a redemption grow. I'm really excited. And uh, uh, I've got the can of cheese going from Mephesto. And then I've got CBD cheese from <clears throat> Crap King. But it's my last seed. I've been holding on to it. I didn't know what to do with it. I'm just like... You okay? You okay. <laughs> <laughs> fucking boom. What the fuck's going on upstairs? All right, I want another dab. I think I want another dab of uh, the Congo because it's delicious. Oh, I think Can of Bunny might want a dab. Are you okay? Yeah. I was, oh, I was smashing like, my, and stuff. My, I forgot I had a backpack on. And, and you bumped the, something over. Yeah. Ah. I wear them so she little. She did the that. big booty mistake. You got big tits, big booty, and fucking boop, knock shit over. She did that with a backpack. <laughs> You want a quick dab before you go? Yeah. What do you want? She cho We got Congo. The elusive right out of the fucking Congo jungle. I'm waiting for Skywalker RIP. OG. RIP, brother. Um, and, 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 you know, we got... Uh, <clears throat> um, and she wants the sweet and sour. It's fucking delicious. That's why. Yeah. It's fucking, like, really good. I am mind blown with the sweet and sour stuff. Like, I just wish it was easier to fucking get mass amounts of those seeds. Uh, why don't you like Cro Crap King? I don't like Crap King because they ripped me off. They straight up stole money from Cannabeer. Straight up, man. They owe me money and refuse to pay me. That's stealing. Um, um, that and, and they... Pretty much either fired or have a good walk, love. They pretty much fired and or all of the good people that worked for them left. My contact, my friend that worked there left, and then I was my my connection was replaced with this no no offense to her her, her race, but this young Chinese girl that didn't know who the fuck I was from a hole in the wall and treated me like shit and wouldn't help me out in my time of need. So I finally went. You know what? Fuck you guys, man. You owe me money. You're not fucking helping me when you're supposed to fucking help me. That's not how sponsors work. I've been fucking, you know, blah, 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 blah. Long story, man. You want to... I did a whole video exposing them. If you want to check it out, just type in can of beard crap or crop king. <laughs> and uh, you'll see some, some good drama on it. Um, anyway. 
They're just a shitty company, man. They, they, they've just they've just gone downhill. They were they were like decent. They were trying to be good, but there's a reason they have the worst reputation in all of the seed banks or seed dealers in the whole world, pretty much. There's a reason they're pretty much the worst rated one. And there's a reason they're hiding under another names. <clears throat> you didn't like the smell of it. It is weird. It's very potent. But I loved it. I thought it was very, very... It, it just really hit me in... Ow, shit. Hit me in this right fucking department. Okay. Mmm. 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 I have coffee. <sighs> I've discovered a bummer. I bought this wall mount for my camera to put it up there, and I was going to do a quick release mount system uh, for my camera to go up in this corner so that it can be up there and broadcasting me, la 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 la, and when it's time to go into the tents, I can just reach up and go click and pull the camera first person kind of down and then click stick it onto uh this tripod setup that i have right this is sort of the goal however i'm kind of bummed out because the setup i bought i can't buy the same the exact same base uh uh, uh interlocking quick release thing i can only buy the tops so i either have to buy another dirt cheap um I think I have to buy a, a, a cheap-ass uh, uh, tripod at a yard sale that has no interlock thing or whatever, or even has the interlock. It doesn't matter if it has it or not. Um, I've got an extra interlock. It's I needed a new base. And I only need one interlock anyway. I don't even need the extra one. I just needed a second base. I need two bases that I can click into this one or this one. So I'm just going to have to do a crash sale, man. Because it's just a uh, pain in the ass. Pain in the ass to try to find a new one that's the right size online for some weird reason. I was kind of shocked at how weirdly difficult it was. Um, can't wait to get my own place to grow that shit. Fuck yeah. Dude, growing growing vegetables this year and, and starting growing weed a couple of years ago. Legally. <laughs> uh, 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 and... Um, you know, going going balls deep into the gardening section, man, has uh, has fucking given me more satisfaction than I would have imagined. Like I don't know, man. I uh, a couple of times this year, um, did I just have a dab? I think I had a dab, but I didn't hit my number. Can anybody confirm if I had a dab and did not change my number? Um, this year, a few times, I had meals from my garden. I took onions, herbs, um, carrots, uh, 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 cabbage, um, and uh, uh, a hot pepper, and we were doing a, we were doing like a stir fry, and I did up all this stuff from the garden. There was so much that came out of the garden. There was like I think the meat didn't come, well obviously the meat didn't come out of the garden, but we had meat and like a couple of a couple of things, but like ninety percent of the meal, eighty percent of the meal came out of the garden. And fuck was it good, man. Some of the some of the best tasting foods I've had in a long time. Like my onions were small. I had these little fucking onions. They were like golf balls. But fucking hell were they good. <laughs> they were really sweet. Delicious. It's just it was crazy rewarding picking strawberries off the vine all summer and just uh I don't know, man. I I think if you've got the space and you're not gardening, you're missing out. You really are. Unless there's a reason that you're not. If you don't got time, I get it or whatever. you got a big career and you just don't have the time to do it. But if you've got the time, man, fucking, I don't know what you're doing with your time, but you should be gardening with some of it. <laughs> it's fucking wonderful. Uh, what's a good seed bank? 
It depends where you live in the world. Honestly, um, there's local seed banks all over the world that are good. However, most international seed banks will ship internationally if you pay them the way that they want to be paid. So basically, uh, basically just, uh, um, you know, uh, look around for what you want and then try and see if you can get it. Most places will ship internationally, I've found. I've, I've had, I've come across few, a, a few places where I had hard times paying them, but I haven't had many places that I had a hard time being able to get anything shipped. Some of them are even sneaky and will like, ship it to you inside of a freaking dollar store toy or something like that. Yeah, last time Mephesto opened up, uh, me and me and uh, Clint Worm, the Canadian site opened up, me and him woke up, we set our alarms, we were, we were texting each other like, you know, like we were getting ready to go get a new video game drop or something. And uh, they sold out of strains in less than five minutes. I was maybe, maybe two minutes late for what I thought was opening time and there was already strains that were sold out. I don't know if people just said, how many do you got? I'll take them all. <laughs> that very well could have happened. You know, like maybe uh, 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 the, the forum stompers got sold out like, oh, you know, that kind of shit. A couple of the big, big, big boys were gone immediately. Um, I got some really good genetics though. I didn't, I didn't walk out of there with no slags. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Seedman also, uh, if you do use um, Bitcoin stuff, apparently the Seedman gives you free shit, like free seeds and stickers and stuff. So, uh, I don't know. But yeah, Seedman's been pretty good. I like their Z <coughs> Seedsman Z Skittles is the only strain I've ever freaking uh, 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 grown from Seedman. And uh, I had a weird germination issue, but the one that made it was immaculate. It was a big, big, happy, sweet lady. I, uh, I got a couple more seeds and I really can't wait to try to push her a little harder. I think, I think one of the things I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start pushing my auto flowers a little bit harder. I think I'm gonna run 24 hour light all the way until mid flower. And during mid flower, I'm gonna knock off about three hours of darkness every night. So we're probably gonna go with like a 22 hour light and three hour dark during mid, mid bud, the last month, let's say. The last month can get that. So like if it's a three month cycle, two months of freaking 24 hour light, one month of that. That's what I'm gonna try. Plus I'm gonna actually use the recommended dosage on the nutrients because um, I've been uh, under feeding them always, always under feeding my plants. Um, I don't want to burn them out and I want to stretch my shit. Yeah, if you're in America, ILGM has some phenomenal strains and very good, like the best of customer service you can fucking ask for. Uh, mixed with some very nice shit, man. Yeah, I like them. As, as a company, they are good folks. Um, as breeders, they've got some good shit. I do recommend them. I actually grow a fair bit of their stuff. Even though I'm in Canada. But they love Cannabeard. They find ways to help out their Canadian... Uh, uh, Canadian growers that they're, uh, uh, they're fans of. But uh, for like YouTube purposes and stuff, right? For obvious reasons, it's good. It's good. Uh, good viewing, man. To have <clears throat> it's good optics to have their name preached in every freaking corner, right? <clears throat> yeah, their email system's a bit. It's a bit on the aggressive side, but it's all in like good stuff. You can either just. It is a little spammy, but it's like, there's so much good information, it's hard to get mad at it. 
Like, I, I was, tr at first when it was like, dude, like, I was like, back up, Robert Berkman. You're emailing me a little aggressively. I'm getting, like, two emails from you a week. I'm like, easy, boy, easy. But then I actually read a couple of them, and I was like, fuck, there's some good information in here. And then I was, like, kind of looking forward to the next one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're good to build, too. Fuck yeah, they are. That's because they reach out to they reach out to YouTubers and they really want they want to help YouTubers. They want their seeds being grown by YouTubers. They really do, and uh, they've been super fucking good to me, man. Super good to me. So I uh, and and like so far, <clears throat> out of all of their stuff that I've grown, um, I've got to say I'm very impressed with the the growth of their Gorilla Glue Auto Flowers, and. Uh, um, their amnesia haze auto flower was i've only grown one of it but it was fucking delicious um i actually got some more and I'm, I'm gonna do it again one of these days soon i just got a lot growing right now i got a lot of options and i'm almost overwhelmed right now i need to ease up on the seed collecting um and uh my new personal favorite in the photo department that i've tried from them is la confidential it is a extreme pine tarry uh, strain very 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 good for making very blonde colored rosin and just it's an extractor's dream and it tastes like a pine tree's butt I fucking love it so good <clears throat> I don't like Mars Hydro personally they're they're finally starting to take the correct path and they're finally getting away from those they've had this horrible love affair with epistar diodes like i don't know too much about diodes that i can speak too clearly about what the differences are or why one's better than the other but i do know that the epistar diodes that mars hydro has been using for about the last fuck 10 years or so are fucking outdated they've been outdated for 10 years eight years whatever they're since they got out of those green ugly mars freaking super boxes and went into the freaking tinfoil hoods their lights have been freaking old man old news their new ones are really really fucking good their brand new one is finally using those kick-ass super efficient Samsung uh, diodes that are just slaying the grow market right now. Nobody is fucking with those Samsung diodes right now. Uh, I, I mean, competing wise, when I say fucking with them, like nobody's able to compete with the Samsung diodes. They're just rocking it right now with the Quantums. Um, the best of the best are all using it, man. Uh, the blurp suck. Uh, yes, the new TS3000 thing that they come out with is fucking pretty slick. But in my opinion, it's almost like a little too, too late. It's also really fucking expensive. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I'll stick with my spider farmers for right now. Bang for the buck. Spider farmer, uh, is probably your best bet on the market right now for efficiency and uh, just straight up, like, fucking the correct spectrum with enough reds and shit, man. Uh, they're, uh, uh, I, 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 I love, love, love my electric skies, but they're, they're kind of like a specialty light. They're really, they're really sexy ass, but they're not very, they're not built for, they're not built for uh, economy. They're built for freaking high end i think i don't know man i love those things they're the best lights i own but they're not the cheapest lights they're not even they're not even reasonably priced i mean you can get a discount i got discount codes below if you still want one because they do fucking kick ass if money is no object that was what i would recommend if you said i got all the money in the world what light would you recommend i'd probably send you to some uh i don't know right now there's I'd have to take a look around. Right now, right now, there is some insane new competitors on the market. There is some crazy new shit that's just coming out right now. So it'd be hard to say. Six months ago, I would still say this, the uh, uh, Electric Sky is probably the best. Right under it would be probably, I, I don't know, maybe those optics or like 
I like those optics. I like those big Crees, man. Those big cobs are fucking awesome. But uh, the new Quantum boards are just so good. They're so cheap and beautiful. Ah. <clears throat> I tell you, it's hard to fuck with those, uh, hard to fuck with them, them new Samsung boards, man. Everybody's using them. I don't want to say like, oh, it's only Spider Farmer because there's lots of companies that are doing it. Spider Farmer is probably like the top of the freaking game when it comes for uh, uh, having their shit dialed in and been doing it the longest. Uh, but there's a lot of new cheap ass fucking competitors coming up. So if, uh, keep your eyes peeled, you might be able to get a, you might be able to get a really good, um, a good deal on one of these new cheap ass fly by night companies that's using all the right shit and trying to just slide under the price range a little bit, you know, I don't know what they are. I can't suggest any of them, but ah. We just got a spider mite. Oh, a spider mite. What do you... Uh, fuck, spider mites. If it's not on your big main cola, if it's just on a little side branch, carefully cut the branch off and throw it in a fucking pit of Mordor and, and burn it. If you can. If not, get yourself some spider mite spray. Fucking spray it. Fuck it. If you're late in the fucking flower, mm, there's not much you can do except remove it and pray. Wash your flower after. Yeah, they're a bastard, man. Basically, whenever I've had spider mites, I've been, tried to remove the, infest, the major infestation sections. And then... Uh, um, if I can, I'll remove everything from that area. Like if it's in a tent, I would remove everything from that tent. Uh, do a cleaning, like a vacuum or something, whatever I can to just get the thing as clean as I can. Give it some sort of a spray down, whether it be an organic option or a fucking like bottled home hardware safer fucking spray or something. Uh, Zymes is the best if you can get your hands on it, but we can't in Canada for shit. So we got to deal with what we got. Um, it, it depends on the, it all depends on the stage of life that you're in. <sighs> all right. One more dab for the fucking road here. Did I just have a dab? Fuck, I can't even keep track. I feel like, did I just have a dab? I feel like I did. I'm going to have to give myself a dab because I've been sitting at three for a long time. And I feel like I had a dab somewhere in the middle there. Can anybody confirm whether or not I had a dab in the last fucking couple of minutes here? Because I think I did. I think I'm just high and I can't remember. <laughs> so, let me take a look here at the weather. How's it looking? Nice. We might have a little... Oh, yeah, just a little bit of... Okay, I gotta keep this on there. Okay, it looks like just a little bit of spattered rain today. It looks like maybe maybe two, two more patches of rain that are gonna come in a little wave and then go away. So I should be able to run out after each major rain and hit, hit it with the frickin' leaf blower again. I'm not letting this fucking shit go to mold. I put too much fucking work into this bitch. They're 12 feet fucking tall and 500 pounds. I fucking want these motherfuckers. Guaranteed a dab. Right there. <coughs> oh, man. <coughs> hey, Rick, how you doing? <coughs> oh, my Instagram with the leaf blower thing. Yeah, that's what I've been doing, man. Seriously. I don't have any cover. I need to grow. I need to make a big tall like fucking 13 foot hoop pyramid or something hoop house thing uh uh for the next freaking year i think i'm gonna i don't know man 
I'm going to try to scramble this fall and try to find some parts because trying to find parts for a greenhouse in spring around here is like trying to find toilet paper at the beginning of COVID. <laughs> Good luck. Everybody's fucking trying to get a greenhouse in the spring here. And I mean everybody's. Every second ad on any fucking post-it service is wanted. Greenhouse or parts. Looking for old garages and and everything, man. It's bullshit. You cannot find... In the fall, you can find stuff. Not in the spring. You're screwed. If you don't have it for fucking the year prior, you don't have it for that year. Unless you buy brand fucking new. Anyway, folks. I think I'm going to wrap it up right around here. Please do not forget to like this video. That's down below. There's a little thumb up. Dink, little thing. There's a little thumb down. Boom. There's a little subscribe button. There's a little join. The little join button is how you join the Canna family over there. All the folks with the little the little colored Canna beard logo badge beside them, they're all Canna family. They're all the people that uh, contribute a little sum in order to get access to uh, all the cool uh, weed smoking emojis and a badge. And just, you know, he looked cool in front of everybody. And uh, your name stands out a little easier in the crowd as chat starts getting a little bit more full as we grow bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, it'll be easier to, to, to read you guys uh, just because you guys pop out. You got little colors on your names and stuff. Easier to read. Uh, right now, I'm still within this nice butter zone where I can essentially follow chat pretty good. I definitely miss a lot of shit, and I'm apologizing for that. Uh, don't forget to BBQ. I know. I gotta fucking barbecue. I think I'm gonna barbecue a lot this winter. I have a funny feeling I'm gonna do some barbecue in this winter. Hey! What's up, my homies? Has become part of the Canna family. It says become a member. I wonder if I can change that has joined the Canna family. I bet yeah I can change that. Let me take a quick look here before I go. Just just out of curiosity. What would that what is that under? That's uh that's my Streamlab stuff. That's right. <clears throat> Man, they've had that same dude holding that guitar for like five years, man. I don't even think he supports this shit anymore. <laughs> like, put that guitar down, man. Calm down, buddy. So it's, uh... It's that one. There we go. Let's make sure I'm in the right fucking account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, there we go. Um, fuck, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, the alert thing. That's right. Let me look at that. Um, test member. Oh. That's the thing. Okay, so let me see here. Can I do anything here? Um... Interesting. There's a bad word filter. Oh, 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 oh. No, here I'm in the wrong. I'm in the wrong section. There we go. There we go. Um, font settings. I can pick that. Aha! I can even test it with another, another testy one. Where's the testy one here? Uh, test member. Look at that shit. I pulled it off. Has joined the Canna family. There we go. Cool. There we go. There we go. Whoosh. Welcome aboard. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> that's as good of a time to stop as any. Thank you, all of you. 
all of you members, all of you supporters, Patreon members, channel members, tippers, and thumb uppers, man. Thank all of you, big time, for real. Have yourself a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow for Friday Night Auto Flowers. Ooh. All that kind of stuff. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Researching the latest grow tips and filming heavily edited as well as interactive live streams, our two-person Cannabeard team um, strives hard to roll up the highest of quality cannabis growing entertainment three times a week. So if you really like what we do here, please consider liking and supporting our Patreon. Patreon allows fans of the show to contribute a small or large monthly sum to help support the channel while grow, as well as Patreons get a little bit of perks, like you get first crack at naming all of my plants, private Q&A sessions, and beyond as we grow. To learn more about our Patreon, click the link below in the description. And if you can't contribute or just plain don't want to, you can just simply give this video a thumbs up. That is a great little bit of support that, well, it's free. In the end, I'm just glad you enjoyed the show. Thank you, and I'll see you soon. Cheers. Cheers.